Another day, another gaming series. Welcome back everyone and today we're gonna go over the Gran Turismo series for the PlayStation. Before we start, may I just say that unfortunately I no longer own the first two games, that being Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo 2. During the earlier part of my life I decided that it was a good idea to sell my games so I can use the money to buy other games. That turned out to be a huge mistake because nowadays old PlayStation games have become rare and more expensive. I have since learned from past mistakes and selling my games is no longer in any of my agendas unless I have a spare copy which happens very very rarely. You know if I buy an old console and it comes with games or second hand game bundle and, and what have you. Anyway without further ado let's start with the first game which is actually the third in the series Gran Turismo 3 A spec for the PlayStation 2. Now. The copy I have is the Platinum version, and the reason for this is because I bought this game secondhand. I didn't get a chance to buy the game fresh when it first came out. Uh, I was still in high school back then, I wasn't earning any money, and I had to wait for a special occasion, such as birthdays and Christmases and whatnot, to get a game. And by the time birthdays and Christmases came along, the options were overwhelming. So I had to prioritize on you know what to get. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So overall, the case is still in great condition. Um, no cracks, no tears or any of that. Scuff marks and blemishes are to be expected. But, you know, none too serious as you can see here. Alright. The Platinum games are indicated by the overall silver, silver color of the case. Um, alongside the word Platinum on the bottom, as you can see there. Right. My copy is, of course, um, the the PAL region, from the PAL region. Uh, there is also this Australian, hopefully you can see that, this Australian classification sticker here. So I'm guessing the previous owner bought this game in Australia. Uh, on to the back, it gives you a list of all of the manufacturers, uh, as you can see there. Okay, And there's also this official um, holographic, uh, PlayStation holographic sticker indicating a licensed Sony product. Now, inside, if we open this up, we get the game DVD and also a, uh, a booklet. Now, the game DVD looks rather boring, and that's because this is the Platinum version. Um, if you're wondering what the PAL version and bo even both the NTSC version looks like, um, here they are. Not a lot going on in the PAL version. The NTSC Japan is colored red, and the North American disc has an image of a road. But all three definitely better than the Platinum version. Um, by the way, special thanks to psxdatacenter.com for providing me with these images. I will share the link below in the description. Uh, also thank you to the Internet Archive for providing me with an image of the NTSC Japan disc. Now back to the contents. So we also get a booklet here uh, and a flyer actually. So behind the game, um, if I just put it here, you get, you get the booklet and there's a flyer advertising, what is that, the official winner's guide that you can buy in store. Right, nothing on the back. Okay, um, right, the booklet. So again, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, there it is, uh, the A-spec booklet, and then again, it's, um, yeah, it's still in good condition. Yeah, you know, there's a bit of um, uh, mark there from opening, but yeah, uh, and there's the back, and obviously, back then, uh, you had to buy a memory card. Uh, you know, the, the pocket size garage. And there is the dual shock. Okay, let's see what's inside this booklet, shall we? First page. The usual precaution. Uh, and, you know, the cover. And you've got setting up. You've got there the memory card, directional buttons, analog. Um, oh, and also you can use the GT Force uh, steering wheel controller. Uh, there's the analog controls. Uh, there it is. There's the GT Force. That's, that's what it looks like. Right, very simple controls, unlike the newer uh, Logitech G923 and, and you know, um, Thrustmaster or what, whatever. Yeah, there's uh, foot pedals, there's just two, accelerate and brake. There's the um, uh, game screen. Uh, what else we got here? There's the, um, uh, the main menu, right? Arcade mode menu. Uh, you have two, you have Gran Turismo menu, uh, sorry, Gran Turismo uh, simulation mode, I believe it's what's called, and arcade mode. Uh, what else is here? Free run, two player battle, and all the different um, menus there. 
uh, time attack menu, there's a Gran Turismo mode menu. It's called Gran Turismo mode. I think simulation and arcade mode, that's, uh, that's way back from the good old Gran Turismo 2 days. Link battle, um, buying a car, license center mode, uh, what else we got? Replay th uh, theater, turbo system, drive system, tuning shop, uh, replay data, display types, graph logger, uh, there's the options menu there. And what else? Credits, music credits, manufacturers, in-game brands, tuning part manufacturers, and uh, yeah, that's it. So um, that is everything that you get in Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec, uh, Platinum Edition. Up next is Gran Turismo 4 for the PlayStation 2. And again, my copy is the Platinum version. I bought this together with Gran Turismo 3 as a bundle, um, and again, you know, case again is, is in great condition, no cracks or tears, only minor, minor scuff marks here, and nothing too serious as you can see there. Okay, uh, the back shows you info on the game, as you can see here. The game has 700 plus cars, as noted here, 50 tracks, Gran Turismo 4, one real driving simulator, you know, the usual. Um, the previous title, Gran Turismo 3, only had 180, so this is a significant leap. Uh, and again, the PlayStation, uh, the official Sony product holographic sticker, which, you know, which differs from the previous title, if, if you remember, there it is, right? Okay, if we open this up, uh, we have, again, the game DVD, which again, looks boring because it is the Platinum version. Uh, but here are the PAL and NTSC versions of the disc. Again, all better than the Platinum version of the disc. Right, what else do we get here? We also get this a booklet, which is, uh, which is quite thick, actually. Check this out. Look at that. That's pretty thick. So, um, yeah, let's see, what's, let's see what's inside this booklet, shall we? So, there's, oh, Tourist Trophy. That's one game I don't have. I'm not really into bikes, but, uh, yeah, if I can find one, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Right, let's see what the booklet has. Instruction manual, right? Setting up, memory card, directional buttons, you know, the whole, the whole usual stuff. Uh, racing controller, L ah, Logitech Driving Force Pro, look at that. Comes with a gear stick on the, well, for me it's on the other side because, my, you know, I use my left hand to, um, to, to, sh to shift uh, transmission instead of my right hand. Which I, I always feel it's wrong because predominantly people are right-handed and it's, you know, for me it's e just easier to shift my left hand. But anyway, anyway, uh, there's the Logitech TT Force, replay controls, oh, sorry about that, and let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, there's the main menu, arcade mode, Gran Turismo mode, uh, single player, time trial, multi, multi land race, arcade mode, uh, the world map, there we go, uh, home photo lab, what else we got? Uh, yeah, card towns, buy car, parts modify, license center, events, circuits, photo travel, Gran Turismo mode again. Uh, what I've got here? Replay data, jukebox. Uh, there's the A spec arcade race screen, B spec race monitor screen. Uh, options menu, you know, the usual. And the uh, credits, music credits, uh, manufacturer credits, etc. And a whole bunch of, um, yeah, just two, well, three pages of, uh, of empty, uh, yeah, empty space. But anyway, um, yeah, there we have it. That is Gran Turismo 4 for the PlayStation 2. Next is Gran Turismo 5 Signature Edition. This edition is exclusive to Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Now, before we open this up, um, just a little backstory. I bought this second hand, hence why it didn't come with the outer box, and why the steel case has all these scuff marks and scratches all over the edges. Um, uh, this was also, I don't know if you can see that, but you can, you can see the little dents and whatnot, and yeah, on the bottom there's uh, also these little, little dents, 
there we go you can see that if I hold it up to the light and uh, yeah more more dents more more scratches and whatnot um, but yeah this was also one of the games I missed out on uh, when it first came out uh, so yeah hence why I had to buy it second hand anyway back to the case now the front as you can see here has an embossed GT logo, Gran Turismo logo, and I'm sorry about the um, uh, it's that's not. I had to clean, I had to clean this as much as I can, but you know, it's that is dusty. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's a, an embossed Gran Turismo logo, as you can see here. Um, hopefully you can see that. And these these contoured lines, again, they actually remind me of a car's bonnet or hood. If you're watching this from the U.S. And also to note, this particular color is called Obsidian Black, which is one of the official Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG color choice. Uh, right, let's open this and see the contents. All right, uh, first of all, the lid itself. I have to say, this lid, right, it's, it's nice and solid. It's got a, it's, it's filled with, it's filled with something dense. Maybe it's foam or something, but it's, it's not solid. Okay, inside, here we are. Now, you see here, there's also this embossed P PlayStation logo, which is very nice. It's, um, this is all velvet, so it's, it, feels, it feels premium and whatnot, right? Uh, so a couple of things. So first of all, uh, the game itself, right? Here we are. So if I take this out, okay, uh, there we go. Right, there's the game there. Exciting 16 player online races, Gran Turismo 5, there. Uh, there is the back, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so let's open it up. And yeah, there is the game disc, the PS3 game disc, and the booklet. And behind this, there's several... Um... Oh, and by the way, before I show you the, 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 the booklets and whatnot, uh, this is the inside cover. Look at that. Number five. Okay. All right, so uh, the booklet. Starting off with the booklet. So here is the booklet, All right? Gran Turismo 5. Uh, oh, there's the back here, get connected for free. And inside, uh, what do we get here? What's inside? There we are, you know, setting up, directional buttons and whatnot. Uh, game screen, getting started. GT mode, GT life, A spec, B spec race, garage premium, standard favorites. Special licenses, photo travel, and, what, and all that. Uh, arcade mode, tips for smooth driving, uh, and uh, not for PSP users. There we go. And also, you get uh, these two DLC codes here. So the first DLC code is to claim your Gran Turismo 5 Chrome Line cars and dynamic theme. Okay. The second is to get to actually to claim your Gran Turismo 5 Stealth cars. Right now, because this it's uh, you know it's a second-hand game, you know yeah the DLC codes were already used, so effectively I missed out on the bonus cards. But you know not a big deal. All right, so there we are. That's the game disc. Right, what do we have next? Next up we have this book. This is the exclusive Gran Turismo magazine called Apex. Uh, so it's a 300-page magazine that contains. Hints on, you know, driving technique, um, cartooning, future text, and more. If you're interested in reading this, uh, I will share the Google Drive link to the PDF in the description. Thank you to whoever uploaded this. Much appreciated. All right, let's, let's go through a few pages. Um, you know, secret materials. We've got here the dawn of um, automobile, uh, automobile history. What else? Uh, roll of tires. There we go, hopefully you, you can see that, but yeah, I'll, I'll try my best. Uh, creating stopping power, um, cornering, slide control, uh, aiming the, to be the first into the corner, and maneuverability and basic structure, uh, strength and rigidity. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot in here. So, like I said, read the PDF and um, yeah, uh, you'll see a lot more of it um, there in that Google Drive link. Right, now, under the Apex book, we have two things. Uh, a Gran Turismo keychain, which is this one here, and let's take it out for you to see. There it is, there's the Gran Turismo keychain. There we are. 
right? And this hasn't been used, so um, yeah, it's still in good condition. Uh, you also get a USB drive. Let's see here, here we go. Uh, this Gran Turismo USB drive. Now this contains uh, an exclusive GT5 dynamic theme and a Polyphony Digital Mercedes-Benz exclusive trailer. All right, and here we are. Kind of looks like a, uh, a BMW key, maybe, or a Mercedes uh, key. But yeah, you got the hole here. You can, you can, you know, yeah, you, know, you can stick your, you can use this as a keychain, I guess, if you want. Um, but why would you? Okay, now. To the right, uh, we have what's called a signature edition coffee book, made to look like it has a carbon fiber hardcover. So let's take a look at that. Uh, here we are. So there it is. You can see it looks, um, yeah, it looks like a carbon fiber, but yeah, it's it's not really. Uh, there's the inside, and like I said, um, I'm gonna make another video uh, that showcases all these art books and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Uh, let's just go through them. Uh, you know, it's just that. Cars from the UK, rest of the world, cars from Europe, Switzerland, um, Italy, Germany, Japan, and, and that. Okay? Now, underneath that, we have a Gran Turismo leather wallet, uh, which also contains an in-game competition to win a real Mercedes SLS AMG car, which at the time was valued at, I think, 180000 euros um, There it is now watch this. Okay, so inside here's the inside of it So it is a nice leather wallet as you can see I right, do apologize for the lighting. Uh, it is overcast over here um, There it is right and uh, yeah, just a regular old um, wallet, I guess Okay, and This here this is the game competition. So let's take it out. And I'll, I'll show you so hopefully I can take this out. Right. There it is. And watch this. It's still brand new. It has not been redeemed whatsoever. Uh, but someone has won it, I think from Spain. So, um, you know, if even if I do scratch this off, it's, it's not going to work. Because, um, yeah, it doesn't matter now, you know, because the winner was already announced uh, way back in 2011, I think. And this game came out in, what, 2010? Something like that. So, yeah, there it is. Okay. And finally, last but not least, we have the exclusive branded SLS AMG 1 to 43 scale model car. So let's take this out and I'll show you. There it is. It's an uh, orange, burnt orange. Yeah. There's the um, license by Daimler. Uh, oh, there's the bottom. All right. And let's take it up to uh, take a closer look. So let's open this uh, very, very carefully. Yoink. There we go. And slide this out. And this is what the car looks like. The best or nothing Mercedes Benz. Look at that. And the back just, uh, the top just has a GT sticker. There it is. All right. And yeah, there we have it, folks. Gran Turismo 5 Signature Edition for the PS3. Still with Gran Turismo 5, here I have Gran Turismo 5 Academy Edition for the PS3 again. Now, this is the remastered Gran Turismo 5 and it includes all of the functionality updates and new contents that have been made available since the launch of Gran Turismo 5. Uh, additionally, it also contains a chance to enter a competition to win a driving day at uh, Silverstone and a VIP trip to Le Mans 24 hours. Uh, now, I've never actually tried this, but uh, you can actually play this game in stereoscopic 3D. Maybe I should try it one day to see what it feels like. I, I don't know, yeah. Uh, but anyway, inside, here we go. We have the game disc itself. 
the booklet and two DLC codes behind this. Now, I'll show you this. Um, the inside cover basically shows the Nissan GTR. All right, so yeah, if you want to use this as cover, by all means, do it. Okay, um, here is the booklet. As you can see there. Fairly standard. Uh, I, I think this is the same as the, uh, it's similar to the Grand Turismo 5 one. Well, yeah, it should be anyway, yep. And also, um, here is the DLC code uh, to access the exclusive driving competition. This one here. And also another one, and this is the rest of the DLC. So this one here has the complete pack, car pack two, car pack three, course pack two, and bonus Nissan GTR, which I think is the one um, shown in the cover. Unfortunately, again, I missed out uh, on Gran Turismo 6, but I have the next game in the series. Gran Turismo Sport for the PS4. Uh, so, yeah, my copy is the Collector's Edition, as you can see here. Uh, now, it comes in this nice box. Um, now, this is also PSVR compatible, as you can see. The first one, not the second PSVR. Um, there is the box here. Let's take a closer look. Right, it's got a matte black uh, look to it. Um, there it is. I don't know if you can see. There's actually, um, yeah, lines, grid, grid lines here. Um, the bottom just has a Gran Turismo Sport logo. Uh, on the back, that right, shows you the uh, contents of, um, of the box itself. Uh, there it is. And there's also a sticker here that says Internet Required for Most Functionality. Uh, which I'm sorry to say, the online services were shut down on January 31st of this year, of 2024. And the DLCs were delisted uh, on December 1st, 2023. Um, yeah, but anyway, when you open the box, and this is how you open it, by the way, you lift that up, and there we go. There is the cover, uh, well, there's a lid. You can see it, it is, uh, it is magnetized, so um, if I bring this down, though, you can see the two magnets up here. Uh, the first thing that greets you is this, the Gran Turismo Magazine 2017. Uh, now, I'm not entirely sure as I haven't read the whole thing, but it looks like the car tuning part is in most part similar to what was it, what is inside the Apex Magazine uh, I showed you before in my Gran Turismo 5 Signature Edition uh, one. Uh, you know, maybe a couple of things are also updated, but there's also new contents as well. Now, look, look at the thickness of this bad boy. Uh, but yeah, there is the um, uh, book itself. Right, as you can see there. And let's uh, let's go through a few pages. Hopefully I can show, uh, show this to you on, uh, on camera. It's gonna be pretty hard at this angle. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's um, new, new contents. Um, there we go. And yeah. I guess, uh, sorry, it's, it's really hard for me to show this, but uh, let's see if I can uh, put this up here. And let's go, let, yeah, let, let's, I'll show you a few pages, I guess. Um, oh, actually, I can do this, yeah. Birth, I'll go from back to front. Um, there it is, right, advent of motorization. Um, going to the circuit. How does the car turn? Effects of air. Yeah, it's a. Um, it looks like it's a much more in-depth, um, you know, book than the uh, the Apex magazine. Um, now, if you Google this, um, Google Gran Turismo magazine 2017. I'm sure you can find a copy of this, you know, somewhere in someone's Google Drive or something. But um, if you know, if if someone ha has done that, uh, yeah, big ups to them. Uh, good job in sharing the um uh, this book. Right. What else do we get? Underneath that, we get the steel case um, here, which houses the game disc and the DLC. So let's take a look at that. Right, and on, by the way, this ribbon here, it makes it easier to lift the, um, uh, the magazine up because it's uh, magazine's got a bit of weight to it. So let's take a look at the steel case. Oh, and look at that. There's also this embossed um, GT logo uh, below that. Okay. All right. Steel case itself. There we are. Okay, and inside uh, we get obviously uh, yeah the the PS4 disc and a bunch of flyers. So the first flyer is well yeah this is the the controls right there we go 
uh, on the back it's just a usual PS Plus um, what is it uh, advertisement um, this is also the voucher code to download the bonus digital items there's also uh, this one here which is the second uh, bonus digital items I can't remember what they are though uh, I'll probably have to read the book the back of the box again there's also a free that's you game this is also a good game if you have um, friends to play with I think you can play up to eight six eight play, uh, seven eight players it's a good game you use your um, tablet or your your smartphone to, to play this game really good um, but yeah that's uh, that's what you get in the game case um, there it is and finally uh, we also get a 1 to 43 scale model of the Mercedes AMG GT right there now let's see if we can open this as well uh, it's got this plastic um, cover so if I maybe open oh yeah I can open it from this way open it that way oh by the way uh, on the back says GT Sports and on the bottom uh, there it is there's a again the Daimler uh, holographic sticker but yeah that's what it has and the Mercedes uh, badge on that side. Right, let's uh, let's see if I can take this out. Um, there we go. Let's slide this out just like that. Hopefully, I can put this back in. And there it is. There's also another plastic um, sleeve here, but yeah. Anyway, there it is. You can see it. There's a front, there's a top, there is the back, there's the other side, AMG GT. Very nice, very nice indeed. And uh, yeah, that's all you get in the Gran Turismo Sport Collector's Edition for the PS4. And finally, I have for you the latest Gran Turismo game for the PS5. That being Gran Turismo 7 25th Anniversary Edition. This game comes in a steel case which sits inside of this sleeve here. All right, oh, and there's the back of it, just in case you're uh, wondering. All right, and if I take off the sleeve, this is what the steel case looked like. There we are. 25th uh, Anniversary, Gran Turismo. Right, right. If I open this up, uh, you get two things. Um, there is this, uh, right? There's the game disc there, and just in case you're wondering, that is the uh, the inside art of the uh, of the case. Okay. And uh, yeah, you get a precaution health warning uh, flyer, and you get this the DLC code. Uh, to get the, well, there's a full game download for P uh, PS4, uh, the Toyota GR Yaris, 1 million credits, in-game credits, 30 partner PSN avatars, and official digital soundtrack. Right, that's what you get. Um, now, just so you know, I have clocked in around 200, it's, it's probably gone up now, 235 hours in this game. Uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't fully checked, but uh, but I think this is the most amount of hours I have spent on a game ever, and I'm actually quite proud of the, you know quite proud of that. Um, so yeah, 235. It's probably gone up to like 200 by the time this video comes out. It'll probably be up to 240 hours or something like that. Anyway, anyway, yeah, that's all my Gran Turismo games. Um, yes, I'm missing a few, and I am working to complete the series. However, like I probably already mentioned in this video and my other videos, classic games and collector's edition games doesn't come cheap nowadays. Um, so when I do eventually have the funds to acquire those games, th you know, those that I'm missing, uh, I'll be sure to share it with you all. As usual, uh, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any more videos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao.